Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hanhan. I love colorful makeup and colorful language. And it's time again for another episode of New Makeup Nonsense. Bingo! Blah, 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 blah. Now with more hand motions. Welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome to this weird shit show. So, New Makeup Nonsense Bingo is a video that I do about every every two weeks, two weeks or so, in collaboration with two dear friends of mine. I started this whole shebang with Teresa of Teresa is Dead, and our friend Audra has joined the party. They both have videos up today at the same time that you're seeing this video and they are linked in the description box and they are in the playlist as well we have a whole new makeup nonsense playlist with any creators that do the video you can be added to the playlist just find me on the internet send me the link and i will take care of that for you and uh if you do want to play along whether you're a creator or just somebody that wants to play the game. We have bingo cards, we have hashtags, we have all of that. So uh, if you wanna make a video, make it. It's a, it's an open tag, everyone's encouraged. I think that's all the like specifics about it. Did I even tell you what New Makeup Nonsense Bingo is? There's a high possibility I did not. So this is a new makeup release video, kind of an anti-haul, will I buy it style, mixed with a bingo game and also a drinking game. So. I, oh my god, this is, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is making me laugh because this drink is so giant. <laughs> so, my dear friend Yolanda was visiting and we saw these giant Mazatlan uh, mugs and uh, I, 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 <laughs> I have this in my life, so I had to fill it with booze. <laughs> this is another um, cherry lime tequila cocktail. <laughs> it is. Okay, okay. We're just going to giggle our way through that. Maybe in the future it won't be bright red and it'll feel a little less <laughs> ridiculous. Anyway, if you're a creator and you don't drink, you don't have to drink to play this game. You don't have to drink, but... We, we enjoy it. We also, Teresa, Audra, and I also pull all of the images ahead of time and randomly pick from them. So we like to show you all of the possibilities. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to remind you that if you're not yet subscribed and you like colorful makeup, you like bitches with opinions. Pen, yes, bitches with opinions. <laughs> or you like cute fat babes. Or you like oversized drinks. If any of those things sound interesting to you, I hope you will subscribe and <laughs> roll the pictures. so much <laughs> it might have activated my sniffles okay so the first the first release up we have is the new summer 2022 collection from nars uh it's online on ulta now there's a summer unrated blush bronzer duo that has orgasm x and casino uh there is an orgasm blush because of course there is there is a Wait, what? Oh, I, I, I misunderstood. There are three duos. There's Orgasm X and Casino. There's Orgasm and Laguna. And there's Dominate and Cypress, which actually seems like a nice little array. There is a Orgasm Lip 
mask, which actually reminded me of the Becca under eye corrector when I first saw it. And then there's the summer unrated eyeshadow palette for $59. It's a 16, excuse me. It's a 16 pan palette with matte shimmer and glitter finishes. <coughs> oh my God. <laughs> It's just funny that this is the first release up because uh, Yolanda and I were looking at this release a couple of days ago. And I don't particularly find the eyeshadow palette inspiring, but like it, it, it makes sense for the brand. Like, I don't know. I, I don't have any strong feelings about it, but it's not the worst looking palette that I've seen. <laughs> is that much of a sales tech tactic? I don't know. It's fine. I actually think the, the blush bronzer duos are pretty cute for somebody that's not all that interested in bronzer. Uh, I, I'm curious because that nine pan from NARS that everyone like was really, really enjoying. I'm curious if that palette was a change in pace and their eyeshadows are actually better quality or if that palette was good because it was good for NARS. So anyway, I'm curious to hear if anybody talks about this palette the way they were talking about that nine pan. I mean, I'm gonna call it an Anne palette because Anne palettes can still be well done palettes, but it does read Anne palette to me. Pretty, but pretty for an Anne. This is, I, <laughs> I saw this and um, I literally had to pick this up with two hands. <laughs> Maybe I made a mistake. <laughs> it's making me laugh. But I saw this on Trend Mood and I really thought that um, Too Faced was, was, was introducing something to the market. But this is a new Sugar Rush collection from Sugary Cosmetics. So there is a melted concealer palette that has 12 pans for $22. There is the Sugar Translucent Powder that's $12. It's available now. I... I... I'm... Why does this confuse me? This, I, I, I think it's because I don't know anything about sugary cosmetics. And I, like, <laughs> like, is this Too Faced? Is this Beauty Bakery? Is this Glam Light? Like, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Look, I don't, okay. <laughs> There's a part of me that's like, okay, a concealer palette of that size and scope feels like it's for makeup artists or extreme makeup enthusiasts, but especially artists. And I just kind of can't imagine pulling out a concealer palette that has like frosting drips on it in, from your makeup kit in a professional set i can't no um no that doesn't seem this is just giving me copycat vibes and it's also kind of melting my brain i know i talk about melted brain a lot uh, over here but like that's that's what happens in bingo and uh it's too early for that it's too early not yet not yet <laughs> y'all I I need to admit something. What I'm admitting is not that I live below assholes. All of that is the constant. Um, I need to admit something. ColourPop, the ColourPop, that brand that I hold big hearty grudge with some reasons that i know and can articulate and others just feelings vibes they they have released a collection where they said hey bitch 
pay yellow green lime chartreuse loving bitch that has problems with us this collection has your name all over it the lime white palette which so there's a whole lime white collection that has multiple jelly mutt shadows color sticks which seem to be their like new eyeliner that's not eyeliner i guess it's more like a shadow stick and a nine pan called in the lime white and i hear you i hear you i hear you totally it looks very similar it feels a little duplicative meaning that like i don't think all of the colors in the palette are that unique but i think this is it i i need you i need you to leave me comments recommendations on ColourPop products that you actually love i i don't need to spend a whole card's worth but i i think what i'm going to do is put this on my face and maybe pick up a couple of other ColourPop products that um maybe are decent i i haven't bought from the brand in like two years and that's not an over exaggeration now wait for this to go on sale as teresa always says i'm not buying this right away but it is out <clears throat> and, I, and I will be trying it because you know what I you you got me okay you got me but also like tell me is there am I missing out on specific things from this brand since it's been two fucking years since I bought from them but yeah this palette I am silly I'm being a silly bitch but I want it This, this product, I saw it and I was like, wait, is Becca releasing new products under like Becca Smashbox? We have a new Brightening CC powder from By Terry. And there is something about the compact and the impressions that made me think of some of the older Becca highlighters that had like special embossing. Uh, this is an illuminating powder that captures the light and boosts your natural radiance with no coverage. I'm all burps. The optical glow technology provides color correction, smooth lines, and blurs imperfections. With rosehip oil that helps to even out the skin, tone without drying the skin. Even, oh, it helps even out the skin tone without drying the skin. And helps create a... Uh, reading is fundamental it creates a flawless finish buildable silky smooth texture and it's limited edition and it's 48 pounds euros i never remember i think that's pounds i never remember which symbol is which okay is this the era of the emperor has no clothes powders like the the, the dior powder no powder that i just got my hands on uh the like all oh, I know that finishing powders have been a thing for a while, but I feel like this is a new way to spin it, where it's like no coverage but perfects. Also kind of feels like an excuse to not have a shade range because there is no coverage. At the same time, I'm intrigued. I mean, I've never actually, you know, I've never been intrigued by By Terry. I'm intrigued by this concept, like the, the, the Becca Zero Foundation, but in a powder? Maybe, maybe, maybe. But at the same time, I'm, I'm calling this a complexion release with a terrible range because, because I don't believe this like no coverage. Yeah, we're just, Mm, by Terry, you're taking up too much of my mental space right now. We're, we're, we're moving on. Oh, we're, we have even more bougie, bougie complexion products. This is the Clidipo Radiant Cream Foundation with SPF 25. It's a skincare based cream foundation with moisturizing medium to full coverage that visibly perfects skin for a natural dewy lustrous finish. Uh, don't tell me 24 hours. All day wearing that resists creasing and caking for 24 hours, fuck off with that. Formulated with deeply hydrating ingredients, 
comfort skin while minimizing the look of signs of aging and perfections. 24 shades and um, I was not kidding about bougie. Clay de Poe, $130 for a foundation with SPF in it and skincare. The packaging is pretty. I, I, look, this is not, this is, this is out of the ballpark of my life. That's the reality of it. But I just, mm, I feel weird about foundation that touts both skincare and SPF. I'm like, I don't believe you. You need more people. Well, we don't believe you. You need more people. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just, it's bougie makeup. But boo, it's not bougie makeup that excites me. It's bougie makeup that makes me go. Oh, okay, okay. Let's talk about a tease, a fucking tease. Miss Natasha Denona. The the pastel palette from Natasha Denona, which is now available in Europe. It's a midi palette. It's a 15 pan palette. It has spring shades from playful pink to yellow to delicate purple to blue and creamy mattes, metallics, and vibrant transparent multi-chrome that can be used for alone for a top coat. And it's coming soon to the US and other retailers. Look 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 pastels different finishes the midi palette size this this palette has my name written all over it but i don't trust it there is a, a lot of the bright colors are the, are Natasha's cream to powder formula. And I don't have a ton of experience with Natasha Denona's eyeshadows, but people whom I trust greatly, dearly, not influencers, but just makeup goblins like me have given me the like, the, the yellow light, the like slow down, not the green light. So if you want to, uh, 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 you got the green light. So, I'm gonna let all you reviewy bitches buy it and let me know. Because there is a deep part of me that still wants this. Oh, I, I do. I do. Mm. But also, I don't fully trust. I don't, I don't fully trust it. And I, I know I have a great collection of singles in mattes and duochromes and multichromes and iridescents. But if I was, even, 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 even if it got bad reviews, I still think Drug Me would buy this. I do. It is the season of the Sakura or the Cherry Blossom. And if I pronounce that terribly, I'm sorry. Huda Beauty has some new cherry blossom themed, there's a cherry blossom collection. There is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in Cherry Blossom. And then there is a lip set that has a liquid matte and then a silk balm, illuminating lip balm. Um, the powder is 34, the lip set is 37. I am not, I'm not a liquid lipstick person, but I think it's a cute set. I'm not really on the in the market for more powders. My question is, does Huda have a pink toned um, setting powder? Cause I actually don't, I don't hate this. I, I think that this kind of color could be a nice addition to her line, which like if this is just limited edition, that's where it like bums me out. Like a limited edition lip duo, I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. But a limited edition face powder, especially if it's kind of a gap in her color range, that does bum me out. And even if 
the powder is unique to her line, I'm giving it same shit new packaging, because I have a feeling the lips are not new. It's just, you know, a little pairing for anybody that is a sucker for cherry blossoms. And that's not a judgment, because I know that cherry blossoms have a strong hold on a lot of people's hearts. And they are beautiful. Okay, so Mother Pat is back again with one of her eye kits. It's the Dark Star 006 version 3. I don't know what any of that means, but it's a kit that includes a Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in Extreme Black, a uh, Maron Mixing Liquid, a Cyber Electric Eye Gloss, and a Triochrome Eyeshadow in VR Sex Drunk galactic sorry it just sometimes pat brings out the uh drama my dramatic side and this kit of a eyeshadow mayron mixing liquid which is available outside of pat mcgrath and an eye pencil is 50 dollars <laughs> I'm not saying that this shadow does not like exist already. Fuck it, I am saying that. What am I talking about? I am saying, look, he here's my thoughts. Here's my thoughts. If you're a palette person, if you're a quad person, all of that, I, I get it. I support it. It is what it is. But if you're willing to buy a single pod eyeshadow, that's when I'm like, why the fuck aren't you just buying indie singles? For $50, you're spending that much money on an eye pencil, Mayron, and I'm not saying it's not a pretty shadow. I've seen the swatches, I've seen it, it looks beautiful, but like, you know, the indie bitch in me is like, that exists. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty multi-chrome, even with multi-chromes, but Look, if you're buying it for the Pat experience, I kind of understand it. But if you're buying it because you feel like it's super unique to the market and thus it's worth the money, nope. <laughs> I'm laughing at the way literally my camera turned off right as I was like, nope. It was like Mother Pat was like, how dare you talk bad about my brand. I think it has an absolute place in the market. I think that the brand has a lot of spectacular things, but these kits always just make me go, really? 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 But really? Really? Okay, okay. So we have a new glow toner from Miss Charlotte Tilbury. If you want actual decent accents, go watch Teresa's video or Audra's video. A glow toner with, ha with, with has, <laughs> with <laughs> niacinamide, pore tight, peptide, and exfolactive, Daily Radiant Glow Solution reduces the look of pores, skin feels baby soft and smooth. Coming soon. I I do enjoy a toner because Trend Mood is like, I personally love exclamation love three exclamation points toners. I'm so I'm excited for this. What about you? And I'm like. There is bougie skincare that I understand and I get and I think is 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 worth it in in these vague generic but not Charlotte Tilbury. No. Just no. No. Not no. Okay, but a release that makes me go no but in different ways, is this new collaboration collection with Morphe brushes and Lucky Charms. Yes, 
cereal and makeup it's a thing so we have a make some magic artistry palette for $22 we have a lip gloss for $10 with holographic sparkle and a limited edition marshmallow scent there is a brush set for $29 with a bag and then there is a pencil set uh, the brush set has six pieces, the pencil set has six pieces, and it's $15. Now, I, I, I don't think this, I'm a colorful makeup bitch, and I'm still looking at this Morphe palette like, why? Why? But I would be a liar if I said that the eye pencil set did not tempt me. And here is the thing. I don't even think wooden eye pencils are good formula choices for my eyes. But when it looks like colored pencils, it makes my nostalgia meter just go off the fucking charts. And I'm like, hey. I want it. I, I don't. <laughs> but look, am I am I alone? Does some, do you all see a collaboration with the cereal brand and think, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on in this world? Because I can't stop but think, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? What? And, and it's because I know I I know what's coming. I know what's coming. Tricks and Cheerios and fucking Frosted Flakes and and uh, kicks and uh, special fucking K special K X it cosmetics. <laughs> Precedent that it makes in this world. I, I am scared. Look, I should that this the the this should have my name written all over it. We have a release from a brand I've never heard from before called Wicked Widow Beauty. There's a 420 Scream collection, which yes is basically scream crossed with weed i'm not theoretically anti-weed collections but the choice is it's a choice there is a uh there are some new mink lash boxes that look like green sparkle boxes with like weed leaves pot leaves there is the hazy baby green matte liquid lipstick which again should have my name written all over it and then there is a 420 screen palette for $24 that has four mattes, three shimmers, and two duochromes. It's a nine pan green palette. This should have my name all over it. Yet, no? I'm definitely feeling a lever, le level of overload with new indie brands. So there is a part of me that's like, oh, this might be a beautiful nine pan. And then there's another part of me that's just like, we have enough makeup. We're moving on. Thank you. Bye-bye. I am going to give that the spot on the card nostalgia we meet again because Scream. Scream. Like, come on. Look. <laughs> I thought this in my head and I stopped myself from saying. <laughs> what I thought in my head was, look, Harry Potter is back with another collection. <laughs> Harry Styles <laughs> is back with another collection with 
the the nail polish brand pleasing there is a new shroom bloom collection that has more nail polishes in different finishes each polish is twenty dollars there's also an acid drops serum and a hand and nail balm and it's available march 15th and has uh, look i don't actually care because i don't care about nail polish and i don't care about harry styles but is anybody is 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 anybody buying this outside of makeup as merch Am I gonna piss off the Harry Styles stands? Probably, which, come at me, bro. Uh, it just, it just, it's still just a new influencer. It's still, a, it's, it's, it's a new celebrity brand still to me. And I'm like, this is cute. I'm not gonna say it's not cute, but also who cares? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> What is this? What is this? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Did not want to see Jim Bro bullshit from Shattered. Leave me alone. With the, with the. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, but like, did Makeup Revolution release a collection that doesn't look terrible? Or does it look terrible and I'm just into. Uh, Makeup Revolution has a new contour collection. There is a fast base contour stick um, for $8 each. There is a lip contour kit, $8 each. There are face powder contour compacts in four different shades, $7 each. There's a contour and shade crayons and ultra cream bronzer. And here's the thing is that I know that this packaging says revolution or makeup revolution and I know some of it's dated or whatever but I also didn't assume this was them like is it me or do the powder come these actually look oh oh I don't know what's going on but they actually look kind of nice I don't think they look tear I think I'm too drunk to judge because if I'm having kindness for Makeup Revolution, that's that's probably a bad sign, right? So, we have a new, new release from a brand and a makeup artist that I quite adore. Danessa Myricks has the new Yummy Skin Collection. There is a Yummy Skin Glow Serum for $34. It can be used as a liquid highlighter or primer two shades champagne which is main squeeze and bronze which is juice boost it has vitamin c hyaluronic acid and squalene and then there's the yummy skin serum foundation for 34 dollars buildable medium coverage 26 shades with four different undertones pink gold neutral and warm and there's hyaluronic acid and squalene and it's a refillable packaging situation and here's the thing here's the thing I am absolutely biased to want to try and love what Danessa Myricks releases. And I know that I have said my shit about skincare infused makeup, but also I want it. I do want to try it. Maybe not the glow primer because I'm good, but the actual skin product, the serum foundation, Fuck me, fuck me. Danessa Myricks like makes me want to love her brand. So, um, yeah, I look. I am going to call it, of course I'm buying it because it feels like one of the skincare products that I will be buying on a sale sometime soon. If the reviews are good, those are all my things, but like those are the factors of like, of course I'm buying it. It just, they just. And for me, the name Yummy Skin does make me interested. It does. I am biased, and I will admit that. Oh, uh, 
why did I say, of course, I'm buying it to Danessa Merricks when I see a release that makes me want to buy it again? Also, the sun is setting, so I'm trying to wrap it up, but that's why the lighting is changing. So, Game Beauty has a new Elemental Pearl Highlighter collection. They are available now. There are five shades. It looks like there's like a red, a green, a... Uh, wait, hold on. Let me just look at their 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 site their instagram there is pyro which is red cryo which is blue geo which is golden dendro which is green and electro which is violet and they're 18 dollars each and i think those names are from genshin impact which thank you josh killer king for introducing me to that game i don't play it but i will watch it on twitch all the time and it's a very pretty game of course i want the green one i want i want i want to see a review because I have yet to try anything from Game Beauty and I I want to. I want to. But I haven't. But I want to. But I haven't yet. So yeah. Um I'm I'm not I'm not I, I don't think it has a spot on the card, but I I I theoretically these look pretty. Theoretically at a green highlighter, like my heart so we have a new palette from give me glow cosmetics this is the two moods palette there are 16 eyeshadows in there and each pan is 37 millimeters so that's like the traditional single eyeshadow from give me glow from sugar pill from jd glow um and it's like a two-sided palette so it looks like it's two separate eight pans that magnetize together and one side is more plummy pink and the other side is more like peachy neutral i i oh god god i I don't know if I can say anything nice about this. I know. Okay, I am. I am pretty toasty. Pretty, pretty, pretty drunk. Pretty drunk, and I've been filming for a while. So I look. I'm. I feel bad for saying this, even though I don't feel bad. I don't love Give Me Glow, and I don't, I, I don't love palettes that have 37 millimeter pans. Look, if it's a single eyeshadow, it's like I can handle it, but as a palette, I, I want 37 millimeter, I want palettes with pans bigger than 26 millimeters. I want those palettes to die. I want them to go away. I don't like it. I don't like it. and. And if I'm being quite honest, I don't think that this feels like two unique moods. I, I don't. I t it's too. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I feel bad about not liking it. And um, this is why I don't get PR. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes I'm just like, oh, this is why you don't get PR, bitch. Cause like you can't shut your goddamn mouth. I can't though. I can't. I don't. I don't. I don't like this palette. And I want these big, big, big eyeshadow pan palettes to go, go away, please. Otherwise, I'm probably just not buying them. Anyway, I. I think I need to drown myself in booze off camera at this point in time because I feel incredibly self-conscious. Yeah. I did hit bingo. I don't feel great about it, but I did hit bingo. 
So I hope you all enjoyed this because On that note, if you enjoyed this video, if you're not subscribed, if you're not yet subscribed and you like colorful makeup bitches with way too many opinions or just cute fat babes, I hope you will subscribe. Make sure to check out Audra and Teresa <laughs> and all of the creators in the playlist linked below. And um, let me know your thoughts on anything that I shit talked or raved about or in between because uh, I feel incredibly self-conscious right now and I'm just going to drown myself in this cocktail and uh, I'll be back in a couple of weeks with more new makeup nonsense bullshit and until then go check out other videos on my channel. I have a haul, I have some new makeup, makeup videos, it's, I have things up and things coming and I need to stop talking because I'm just digging myself into a deeper hole. Oh wait, I almost forgot to tell you. Don't forget to take care of yourself better today than you did yesterday. Because you are worth it.